Alrighty. Okay. So how are you? How are you doing today? Um, I've been taking a little bit of a small, like, you know, just a pause from yoga for a couple of days. Um, I was having a little bit of a sore throat, but um, that was all it, just a sore throat. Anyway, um, and I started like walking more and just going out and enjoying the day and then it was too late and then too many things going on. But I hope that your days are going okay, that you are feeling good, that you are feeling in good spirits. Um, this definitely is going to pass. We're going to be back to our new, we're going to go to the other side of the tunnel, whatever is that and whatever is waiting there for us. We are going to get there sooner rather than later. Um, definitely, this is my fourth week of uh, quarantine for me. So um starting to get more and more used to it. Uh, it takes time, I have to say. Um, um, a rebellious person so I just didn't kind of accept it just like oh yeah great but um anyway I'm feeling way much better now and uh, definitely just ready to uh go back to my uh, a little bit of a yoga for today so um for today you're gonna need of course your mat you're going to need your blocks uh if you need something for your knees in case your knees are sore or sensitive um a blanket or a little bit of a towel is just great for that so keep that handy. Um, we're gonna start today uh, sitting on our um, sukhasana, our easy pose, a cross-legged position. If you feel that your knees are kind of like too, too far up and you're feeling like enclosed instead of open, um, that means that maybe you need to um, use a block and sit on the block just to give you a little bit more of a space between your knees and your torso. So go ahead and um, just come into whatever pose is comfortable here for you as a close, um, as a cross-legged position. If you want, if you want to go to um, lotus pose, that's also great. Um, choose whatever you want for you. Um, just to let you know, this is my house, and uh, people live here. Uh, a cat lives here and owns the place, so she's gonna come in and out whenever she wants because that's who she is. Anyway. Um, with, more, with no more further ado, place your hands on top of those wonderful knees. Make a look with those shoulders and get them away from the ears. Get yourself long and strong and place the torso on top of your wonderful uh, pelvic area so it's not like um, going forward or going back. It's just on top of it. So think about this as a little bit of Lego pieces and one is on top of the other just to make this work perfectly. We're going to start by centering ourselves, finding a um, place or a moment where we start feeling like we are here. We're not somewhere else. We are not um, um, experiencing you know, thoughts that are nothing to do with our yoga practice. So we're going to start like letting those other thoughts go. Start working on your breathing, going like deeper with that breathing, inhaling through the nose and exhaling always through the nose also. While you do this, scan the body, start by the crown of the head and go all the way down and to your toes and find how the body is feeling. Move this candid conversation now to what is the mood for the day. How are you feeling today? Maybe you're feeling a little bit less anxious, a little bit, you know, just more um, in a feeling of gratitude for what you have, a roof under your head, some you know, food on your plate and people that love you. You never know. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit more calmer. And keep inhaling through the nose and exhaling. Maybe even exaggerating a little bit so you can hear your breathing and you can feel your chest coming up and down in every breath. Go ahead, keep on going. 
practice on mindfulness and stay where your body and your mind is. So you are here in your mat. Three more breathings. Slowly, very slowly, open your eyes. Send your shoulders towards the back and away from the ears and make an, again enough space between your wonderful ears and your shoulders. Inhale and bring both hands all the way up. Following with your gaze, make sure that your hands are, palms of the hands are looking towards yourself, pinkies are looking towards each other. Stomach in, ribs in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale and coming all the way up. Exhale, and hands to heart center. Slowly, very slowly, we're gonna start getting the body warm up. Inhale one more time. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time. Inhale, and bring both hands all the way up. Interlace your fingers here and send the palms of the hands all the way up and towards the sky. Try to keep all the fingers interlaced and lengthen here. Keep the ribs in, keep the stomach in and lengthen. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale one more time. Exhale and hands to heart center. Good job. Inhale and bring in both hands all the way up. Interlace those fingers and send the palms of the hands towards the sky. Okay, place your hands, your arms, that is uh, basically just right where your uh, ears are. So if they're not backwards or they're not forwards, they're right where your ears are. And let's try to move the whole torso. Inhale in here and send the torso all the way towards the right. Exhale and back to center. Let's go towards the other side. Exhale and back to center. Let's go one more time. Inhale here. Exhale and back to center. Left. Exhale and back to center. Alrighty. Bring those hands towards the back and interlace those fingers again on the sacrum area. So you can bend your elbows right here. There's no need to lengthen that much right now. All right. Uh, if you're in a lotus pose, I would advise you to just come into a cross-legged pose position. And if you are in a block, this is the moment to get out of that block. Inhaling here and sending the torso forward. As forward as you can. And then those uh, arms start extending towards the back. And then up. Extend as much as you can forward. Look forward, don't look down. Inhale and coming all the way up. All right, inhaling and placing the right hand towards the left, catching with your left and lengthening here. Mm -hmm. Stretching the wonderful shoulder area, tricep, bicep. Okay, coming with both of your hands towards the back again and we're gonna lengthen one more time, inhaling here. Exhaling and lengthening towards the front, looking forward, not looking down. Trying to find lengthening and find um, your arms going towards the sky. Mm 
All right, inhale and coming all the way up. Okay, now sending the wonderful left hand all the way across, catching it with the right and start stretching and lengthening that wonderful left uh, tricep, left bicep, left shoulder. Okay, good job. Okay, inhaling and sending both of the arms towards the side at uh, shoulder height. Right uh, thumb looking towards the back uh, to, or looking down. And spread all the fingers, spread all the fingers in both of the hands and let's do blender here. So shaking, 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 shaking. Keep on going and try to focus your brain in this, try to make sure that you are able to send one up and one down in terms of your thumb. And then as soon as you feel that you have mastered that, let's, let's challenge it a little bit more. And uh, let's find out if we can go faster. And maybe faster. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Eight, seven, six, faster, five, four, faster, three, two, one, done. Hands to heart center. Make a look with those shoulders and get them away from the ears. Lengthening as much as you can between your wonderful shoulders and the ears. Now from here, make sure that you feel that you have a little bit of, um, imagine that you have a thread and the thread is going through your uh, crown of your head and it's pulling up all the way up and towards the sky. So are lengthening, lengthening, lengthening as much as you can. Keep your wonderful seat bones on the mat. And if you feel that you are not uh, properly seated yet, you can always move around uh, a little bit of awesomeness until you feel those wonderful seat bones <laughs> logging into your mat. There you go. Okay, so give yourself length and length and length and length and straight. Straight, straight, straight. Make sure that your wonderful torso um, is on top of your wonderful waist area so you're not full, uh, you're not... Um, going backwards or, or forward at any given point. Alrighty, just like that, say hello to the tallest version of yourself, especially in these times where people are working at home. Um, we are not working in the, um, you know, the most perfect surfaces. Sometimes it's just like your kitchen table, uh, your couch, stuff like that, where definitely you are not supposed to be uh, working and uh, it's not uncommon right now that you have a lot of pain in your back, a lot of pain uh, on the wrist, on the shoulder, uh, all this area just because you've been like interacting with your computer way too much. Uh, so definitely take care of um, of those shoulders. It's really, really important and make sure that you have maybe a much uh, a better height uh, for, a, for a table. Um, I know it's hard at this point, but you can always just wish. Okay, inhaling here and bringing both hands all the way up. Sending the right hand down, leaving the left all the way up and towards the sky. Sending the wonderful left hand towards the right. Stack those shoulders on top of each other so your left arm is not in front of your face like this, but it's stacking. So your torso should be the one, your um, chest should be the one that is like really, really just pointing out lengthening here and if you want to maybe just you know gaze toward the sky look at the wonderful sun the sky out there is really really nice let's go into the opposite direction placing the left down sending the right hand all the way up and towards the sky inhale here exhaling and sending it all the way towards the left side and again same situation try to stack the shoulders on top of each other try to don't collapse on the left side maybe sending your gaze towards the sky and coming back and towards the center embrace yourself maybe trying to find uh, your shoulder blades we'll see how that goes maybe you find it maybe you don't but you're gonna try okay Embracing, 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 embracing here. And now letting go. Okay, and from here, just do not change this and come into your eagle arms. So eagle arms is the complete um, 
twist of the arms here. If you don't have this, you can always come with both of the hands here. The important part is that the right arm is under the left. If you are here, just embrace both of your hands here and try to uh, get as close with both arms as possible. Really, really trying to get those arms just like glued together, like gorilla glue right there. Inhaling here and lifting both elbows up. Exhaling and down. Inhale and up. Exhale and down. Inhale and up. Exhale and down. All right, letting go of this embrace. And now moving the left on top, the, no, the left under the right and embracing yourself. Um, caving to yourself just to find those wonderful shoulder blades. You are where you are. And that's part of the beauty of yoga. Okay, coming back from here, we're coming into our eagle arms. So if you want to come into your eagle arms or you want to place your hands on top of your shoulders, that's just fine. If you are into your ego arms, um, arm against the other arm, um, except like really, really forcing one to the other so they can have equal forces, try to place equal forces on both and go up and down. Inhale and up. Exhale and down. Inhale and up. Exhale and down. Last one, inhale and up. Exhale and up. Excellent work, letting go of those arms, placing both of your hands in front of you and coming into your uh, tabletop. So bring anything that you need for your tabletop. Um, so I'm gonna bring my little bit of a towel because that's something that I need for my personal needs. And I'm actually gonna move this a little bit forward. Alrighty, I'm gonna bring my blocks because you never know. We might need it, we might not. Okay. Okay, so coming into your tabletop, making sure that your knees are under your hips, making sure that your arms are under your shoulders. Spread your arms, uh, your um uh, your hands are shoulder width apart, top of the feet firmly rooted. Good job. And from here, coming into your cat cow, letting go of your stomach. Tailbone up, gaze up, chin up. Exhaling and arching your back. Navel towards the spine. Keep on going, inhaling and coming up. Exhaling and coming into your cat. Inhale. Exhale. Use the mat away from you and really send your navel towards the spine. Inhaling here. And exhaling. Let's do one more of this. Inhale here. And exhale. And come back towards your center in here. Move your head. Say no. Say yes. Just move it around. Letting go of your head. Starting to letting go and decompressing that spine just here. Slowly, very slowly. Alrighty, good job. Okay. Now in here, inhaling and placing that wonderful right knee where your right arm is. Coming down. Placing the left, coming down. Inhale and up with the right. Exhale and coming down. Inhale and up with the left. Exhale and coming down. Inhale and up. Exhale and 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 down. One last time. Inhale and up. Exhale and down. Inhale and up. Exhale and down. Okay, that was a super easy stuff. Let's not do such an easy stuff anymore. Okay, so we're going to come into curling our toes. Yeah. 
And I'm going to lift my knees from the mat. But I want you to, you know, make sure that there are no more than two fingers from the floor to your knees. So you're not lifting your knees too high up. It's just that. It's just tiny little bit. Tiny little bit. So I'm going here. I'm lifting. I stay here. Cat back. Push the mat away from you. Use the core. Okay. Now from here, inhaling here and sending the right leg towards the back and extend. Back to the center. Exhaling and sending the left. Back to the center. Check those knees. Make sure that you're just, just an inch away from the mat. Keep on pushing. And press your feet down. Press your knee down. Top of the feet from the Maybe move them around a little bit. Tiny little bit. Okay, good job. We're going to come back to this. Okay. So coming back to this. Curling the toes under. Knees under your hips. Feet hip with distance apart. And lifting. Just tiny little bit. Cut back. Cut back, cut back, cut back, cut back, cut back. Alrighty. Sending the right leg towards the back. And center. Sending the left. And center. Place both of your knees down. Move towards the left. Move towards the right. Tiny little bit. Okay. Let's do a... It's not a complicated thing, but it's just like... It's going to help us a little bit to keep on working on the core. Keep on working on the arms and on the arm strength. Okay. So we're going to start with the left, just to make it easier for you to see. So left, uh, left knee up, touching now the right arm, the left, and that right arm, right leg. Touching now the left, so twisting the right and that. Okay, so the whole thing of here is just twisting. If you don't twist, you're not going to find your knee with your right arm. Um, with the opposite arm, it's kind of really hard to come from here without twisting. So if you try from here and touch, you can, but it's really, really hard. So let's just twist. So inhaling here, lifting the left, twisting towards the right. I'm finding that right arm, twist, coming back, finding the left arm down. Okay, the other one, right, twisting and finding the left, finding your right and down. Left. Twisting and finding the right, finding your left, and that, right. Twisting and finding the left, finding the right, and that, left. Twisting and finding the right, finding the left, and down, right. Twisting, finding, twisting, finding the left arm, one more time with the right. Lifting, twisting towards the left. Finding the right arm now and place the left, the right knee down. Twisting towards the right, finding the right arm, finding the left, and that. Good job. Move those wonderful um, hips towards the left and towards the right. And let's come back towards your center here. So let's curl the toes under again. I know. Again. Inhale here and lifting those knees. Just tiny little bit. Tiny, 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 tiny little bit. Push the mat away from you. So the um, the mat is lava. So do not touch it. Not touch it. Okay. Right leg towards the back. Okay. Back. Left. Back. And then good job. We're gonna do this two more times. So if you need to move your wonderful wrist, this is the moment to do so. If you need to adjust anything, go for it. Okay. Inhale in and up. Just tiny little bit, tiny little bit. Push the mat away. Push the mat away. Breathe. You can do this. Right leg towards the back. Back to center. Left leg towards the back. Back to center. Place both of your knees down. Yay! 
move towards the right, move towards the left, maybe shake your hands, maybe sing the song, you never know, whatever gets you through it, doesn't matter. Okay, one last time, inhaling here and lifting both of those wonderful knees. Get back, placing that knee down, well no, placing that knee back towards the left. Placing that knee back. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Place those knee down. Woohoo! Move around. You did it. Good job. Place the wonderful right hand, right foot, where your right hand is. Okay. Keep that knee down and into your uh, towel if you need to. Grab your blocks. Alrighty, grabbing your blocks here, framing the wonderful right foot, start looking forward instead of down. Okay, making sure that the ankle is on top of that knee, curling the toe under, inhaling here, and exhaling. In your next inhale, send that wonderful uh, right hip towards the back, lengthen that wonderful right uh, leg, and just lengthen. Toes can be going up towards the sky or it can be pointing towards the front. Whatever feels good for you. Inhale in here. And exhale. On the next inhale, bringing both blocks towards the front, placing the blocks there, placing the fingertips here, on top of your blocks, inhaling and lifting. Both arms all the way up. Exhaling, coming all the way down, grabbing your blocks and traveling again. Inhale in here. And exhale. On the next inhale, coming towards the front. Traveling here. Inhaling and lifting. Exhale, coming all the way down. Grab your blocks. Extend that one for right hip towards the back. Extend that one for right leg. Super strong, super straight. Okay. Inhaling and towards the front. Lifting both arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Okay, I'm gonna move towards the other side so you can see where I'm going with it. So, so I'm still on my right side. My right leg is super strong and lengthened here. And what I'm gonna do, if you need a block to travel with you, go for it. Place your right hand on top of the right uh, leg or the right thigh. I'm still making sure that the knee is on top, uh, is uh, yeah, the knee is on top of your ankle. Lift all the toes and press them down. And we're going to come towards the side. So you can you can bring your block if you want to, and you can curl the toes under in that left foot if that makes you feel more secure and more stable. Sometimes that actually works and helps a lot. So left arm, either with or without your block, comes towards the left side, and maybe you stay here. And that's a wonderful place to be. You can place your hand on top of your uh, the back of your calf, and if you have more elasticity and more space for yourself, you can always bring that hand towards maybe your heel. Keep that wonderful right hand on top of that right thigh. Now, if you feel super secure and super like, yay, I got this, send your right hand all the way up and towards the sky. If not, place your hand here. If you want, you can send your gaze down and towards the left. Wherever you are, either with your block, if you have your block, bring the block back towards the front. Place it there and send the wonderful right foot towards the back. All right, move your hips. Okay, let's do the other side. So we have the blocks here and we're gonna place the left foot where our left hand is. We're gonna frame the left foot with both of our hands in our blocks. So making sure that you have your space Top of the foot firmly rooted on that right foot. Um, lifting all the toes and placing them down. Making sure that knee and ankle is in one line. Good job. Okay. So you have your blocks here. You're looking forward, not looking down. If you need to curl the toe under, by all means. Inhaling here. And let's travel towards the back with both of our blocks. Lengthening and strengthening that wonderful left leg. 
those looking up towards the sky. Inhale here. And exhale. On your next inhale, bring the blocks towards the front and lengthen here. Place your fingertips on top of the blocks. Inhale and lift in both arms all the way up and towards the sky. Shoulders away from the heel. Exhale, bringing both hands down towards the block, curling the toe, and coming towards the back, extending the wonderful left leg. Inhale here, and exhale. On your next inhale, coming all the way towards the front with both of your blocks, making sure still that you have a good foundation for your pose, placing both of your, uh, placing your fingertips on the blocks. Inhale and bringing both hands all the way up. Exhale. Hands towards your block and lengthening. Lengthening that wonderful left leg. Super strong, super long. Inhale and coming all the way towards the front. And coming all the way up. Exhale. Coming all the way down. And we're going to come to the other side. So I'm going to go to the other side so you can actually see the side of the body. Okay, so I'm placing my foot here. My left towards the front. And then again, if you need a block to come with you, by all means, is they are your friends, best friend ever. So use them, use them, use them. Okay. Okay. So placing down my um my left foot and making sure that I have the four corners firmly rooted. If I need to curl my toe under on my right foot, I will just feel a little bit more secure. And then placing if you want. You can come with your right hand and your block and placing it here, somewhere here, where you can start feeling lengthening on the body here. If you start to move a little bit backwards and need a little bit more lengthening, go for it. But I'm basically just coming like a little bit like a torero and like, ole, I'm finding a space here for my hand. Left hand can stay on top of my left thigh, or I can bring my left hand all the way up and towards the sky. Okay. Now send your gaze down and see where your hand is at. So you can still use your block if you want to. So you can place your hand there in the block. If not, and you feel comfortable, go wherever you can with that left arm. Inhaling here and exhaling. Inhale one more time. And exhaling. Going all the way up. Slowly, very slowly, bringing the left, the right hand all the way towards the front, sending the left foot all the way towards the back. Move your hips here. And I'm coming now into my downward facing dog. So I'm leaving my blocks in the front, you never know. I'm curling my toes under, starting by sending my hips all the way up and towards the step. And then towards the back. Looking at my feet, I'm finding a good downward facing dog for me. So for me, a good downward facing dog has my feet hip with distance apart, or maybe even a little bit bigger than that. My knees bent. My hands both at the same uh, position on the mat. My index knuckles firmly rooted. All my fingers are completely stretched. They're finding as much space as they can because they're the base of this. And now I'm going to um, um, uh, incorporate my upper arms into the equation and set my gaze down to relax, to look towards my thighs. Now maybe if it's in the cards for me, I might start sending my heels down and towards the mat. Breathe here. Move your, get, move your uh, head and say no, no, no. Say yes, yes, yes. Walk your dogs. The right, the left, the right, the left. Good job. Inhale and lifting the right leg up. Bending that knee. Stacking those hips and sending the left, the right foot towards the left. Look under your left armpit and maybe look at your wonderful foot. Mm -hmm. 
look towards your hands and place the right foot where your right hand is. Be delicate, be nice. And here, make sure that the left heel touches the mat and that the wonderful left uh, big toe is pointing to the left corner of your mat. Move your right foot maybe a little bit more to open your stance if you feel you need it. And you can open to your stance towards the left or towards the right if you feel you need it. Inhale in here and coming all the way up. Okay, so I'm gonna bend my right knee a little bit more and maybe open my stance towards the front a little bit more. Because I feel I have it. But it's everybody different and you should definitely hear what your body's doing. Make sure that your torso is looking towards the front and bend that knee. Bend that knee, bend that knee. Shoulders away from the ears. Inhale and lifting both hands all the way up. All right. Inhale here and send both hands towards the back. Interlace your fingers and send those wonderful index towards the center of the earth. Send your gaze towards the sky. All right. Inhale here, let go of the interlace and bring both hands all the way up. Exhale, tap two arms. Inhale, come down with both of your arms. Lift that only. No, actually don't lift that only. Send that wonderful right foot all the way towards the back and come into your downward facing dog. If you want to do a uh, vinyasa here, throw a vinyasa just for argument's sake, go for it. I'll see you in downward facing dog. You're going to inhale and lift the left leg. Bend that knee and send that left foot towards the right side. Maybe look under your right armpit and say hello to your left foot. Try to stack those hips and try to place all of the sole of the foot, my left, my right sole of the foot, all of it on the mat. Alrighty, inhale here. I'm placing now that right foot. Sorry, left left foot where my left hand is. Trying to be super nice with this. Framing that left foot. I'm placing the sole of the foot down on that wonderful right foot. Make sure that a wonderful right foot. Uh, big toe is in an angle looking at my right corner, top corner of my mat. Inhaling and lifting. From here, you need to move and change your stance by all means. I'm going to move my left foot a little bit more towards the left. And then bend my knee. Okay? Good job. Making sure now that my torso is looking towards the front. Hands towards your wonderful waist. Make a look with your shoulders and getting away from the ears. Look forward and then look down. Keep that wonderful left knee bent. Inhale and lift both hands all the way up. But a little bit. All right, inhale and bring both hands all the way towards the back. And interlace those fingers on the sacrum. Point those index fingers down and towards the earth and send those hands up. Lengthen the chest, open the collarbone. Look up and towards the sky. All right, we can come bring both arms all the way up. Exhale, back to start. Inhale up. Exhale and coming all the way down. Framing that left foot and sending it now towards the back. Coming into your downward facing dog now. And again, if you want to throw a vinyasa to get there, go for it. If no, you're more than welcome just to go into downward facing dog and find your good downward facing dog. Good job. And your next inhale, bring both or bring your hands towards your feet and find yourself in your forward fold. Let go of your head. Make sure that your hands are 
grabbing your opposite elbows and just sway from side to side. Allow the decompression of the spine to happen on its own. There's all these wonderful, you know, uh, physical theories happening, um, all this Newton happening that is telling you that we're going to decompress because everything goes towards the center of the earth. And that's exactly what is happening. But you have to let go of that head. Place both of your hands on top of your shins and lengthen the spine forward. Make a look with those shoulders and get them away. The stomach is in. Look forward, don't look down. Exhale and forward fold. Inhale, bending those knees, brushing with those fingertips and coming all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Ready. Inhale and coming all the way up. Exhale and coming all the way down. Hands on top of those shins and lengthening the spine forward. Exhale and forward fold. Inhale and brushing with those fingertips and coming all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. I mean, let me move this a little bit so you can see, um, you know, kind of like. Oh well. left big toe is pointing on an angle, so the left foot is pointing on an angle towards the left uh, top corner of your mat. Uh, walking my foot, my right foot now, a little bit more towards the front because I do have the space. Uh, start feeling in your body. Take your time to get into the pose. You don't have to arrive like it's not a stanga. <laughs> so nothing against it. It's awesome. But you don't have to get there in just one pose or in just one movement. Go and take your time and do the best that you can for your body. That's my best advice. Place both of your hands on top of your waist and making sure that the wonderful chest and the wonderful torso is looking towards the front. Extend that wonderful left leg. Super strong, super extended. Good job. Okay. Inhale in here and coming all the way up. Interlace those fingers in the finger pointing towards the sky. Lift the head. Lift the gaze and maybe bend a little bit more. Breathe here. Take your time. Stay present. Stay in the here. Stay here. One more breathing here. And bring both of your hands towards the back. Interlace those fingers here. All of them. I'm gonna bend a little bit more, and I'm gonna send, I'm gonna come into my combo warrior. So inhale in here, I'm coming all the way down. So now important here is to check that your right shoulder is gonna be on the inside of your right leg. So it's not gonna be around or kind of like, it should, it should be towards the right leg, the inner side of the right knee, okay? So I'm placing it right there, okay? And 
now letting go. Looking at the left foot and lifting both hands. Going to press both of the palms of the hands together. Bending that wonderful right knee. Breathing. On your next inhale, bring both hands back into your sacrum. Bring both hands down. Lift the left heel of the mat. Send the right arm all the way up and towards the sky. Alrighty, bring that wonderful right hand down. And now bring the left foot to join the right. Come into your forward fold. You can place your hands on the back of those uh, shins, on the back of the calves, and lengthen. If you don't want to lengthen those back uh, hamstrings, you can always bend those knees and place that torso on top of those hamstrings, and that's fine. You can always come back to your hands on uh, opposite elbows, that's just fine. Place both of your hands on your shins or closer towards the ankles and lengthen forward. Make a look with those shoulders, give them away, lengthen a little bit more, stomach in. Exhale and forward fold. Inhale, bending those knees, coming all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Alrighty, we're going to send now our wonderful right leg towards the back. And we're going to arrive to that same uh, warrior one on the other side. So take your time. I'm going to send my left foot a little bit more towards the left. To open my stance a little bit more. Yeah, check that my wonderful right leg is super extended, um, super strained. It has a lot of uh, responsibility here, that wonderful right leg. So I'm just letting her know. It's, um, we need you here, buddy. Don't leave us. Alrighty. So left, bending the wonderful knee, finding your right position, making sure that you have your hands on top of your waist, and that you're moving your torso towards the front. Good job. Make a look with those shoulders and get them away from the ears. And maybe keep on adjusting and keep on moving as much as you need to. Inhale and then single hands all the way up. Interlace those fingers and send the index fingers towards the sky. Send your gaze towards the sky. Bend a little bit more in the left knee. Breathe. Alrighty. Exhale, come all the way back. And place your hands on top of your sacrum. Interlace all the fingers, and we're going to go into the um, humble warrior on the other side. So inhale in here, sending both hands all the way back and down, lifting, and now coming all the way up. Sorry, your arms are coming all the way up, your torso is coming all the way down, and I'm going to place my shoulder on the inner side, left shoulder on the inner side of my left leg, extending and letting go of your head, really letting go of your head. Bending that left knee as much as you need to. Lifting those arms. Breathing. One more breathing here. Bringing those arms down, coming all the way down with those hands, lifting the wonderful right heel of the mat, and now sending that wonderful left arm all the way up and towards the sky. Right. Sending wonderful right hand, left hand down, sending that left leg towards the back and coming into your wonderful Plank pose. 
open your stems a little bit so you are at least hit with distance. Open all your wonderful fingers so you have a bigger base. Make sure that everything is aligned, that your wrists are under those shoulders and push them out away from you. Keep those hips up. Lift your hips all the way up, coming to your downward facing down. Okay. Walk your feet towards your hands. Get there. And come all the way up. Bending those knees. And then here. Exhale and hands to heart center. Alrighty. We're gonna come towards the front of the mat. And you're gonna make gonna, gonna make sure that you have a block coming. I would say I'm gonna use just one. I'm going to place it towards the left side here. It's on the left side, and it's actually out of your mat. Um, out of your mat, and more and more and more towards the left. You will see how, how this uh, evolves. You're going to send the one for right leg all the way towards the back. All right. And from here, we're going to send the uh, outer edge of your foot parallel towards the outer edge of your mat. So we're coming into a little bit of a word or two, if you want to. So come into your word or two. Take your time. Find your good warrior. Torso looking towards uh, the front still. Okay. Reverse your warrior. So left arm, left hand up. Palm of the hand up. And towards the back. Bend that knee. Come back. All right. Hands to heart center. Okay. We're going to start sending our wonderful um, heel up. And coming into a little bit of a crescent pose. Crescent pose here. And now we're coming in as easy as we can. So close our stance once and then come into your warrior tree. So that would be like this. Close your stance once. And then come into your warrior tree. Warrior tree here. And now place your hand on top of that block, a little bit away towards the left. And place your hand there, the palm of the hand there. Now send that hip, rotate that hip so it comes on top of the left. And engage that right foot, that right leg. Super strong and super engaged. Alrighty. With that being said, we're going to start opening the body towards the right side. Okay, good job. Maybe lengthen that wonderful right arm up and towards the sky. Maybe come into your fingertips. Maybe lift that hand. Come back. Place that wonderful right foot down. And come all the way up. And to heart center. Okay, good job. We're going to do the other side very, very easily. So, I'm going to send my block towards this side because it just makes my life a little bit easier. But we did the wonderful uh, right left foot forward. So, we're going to have now a right foot forward. So, coming to your warrior two pose here. So, sending the right leg, toes, the right Toes looking towards the front, the left toes looking towards the side and outer edge of your left foot parallel to the outer edge of your mat. Make sure that you're heel to heel with your feet and take your time. Take your time. This is all about having a good foundation. So if you don't have a good foundation, it doesn't matter that you're right there in two seconds. 
bend in it and make sure that your right eye is parallel towards the, uh, towards the mat, or at least that's what we are intending, okay? So that's the intention. That's where we're going to get at some point. Okay, making sure that your hands are on your waist, sending your torso to look towards the front. Opening your arms at shoulder height, shoulders away from the ears, relax those shoulders. Left leg, super strong. She's like, she knows she has a, she has a very big party on this, uh, very part, very big part on this party. So she don't wants to like, you know, she don't wants to, uh, you know, let us down. She will not, she knows. Okay, send your gaze towards the right. Second and third fingers. If you wanna do a mudra here, by all means. Okay, let's reverse our warrior. So right palm of the hand up and send that right arm up. You can place your left hand down towards the left leg or you can maybe try to start to bend, uh, binding a little bit towards the right. Whatever you do is okay. Make sure that you keep on bending the right leg. Come back into your warrior. Alrighty. Hands to heart center. And we're gonna send that wonderful left foot a little bit towards the front, lifting that heel. We're gonna close our stance once. One. And then we're gonna come into our warrior tree. Deeping the torso and lifting the left leg. Water tree here. Make sure that you have your block there. Right leg super strong. Place your right hand down and find your block. Okay, move it a little bit towards the right and away. Place the palm of on, or only the fingertips. And start sending that hip, stack that hip, one on top of the other. Engage that left leg. And start opening the body towards the left side now. Maybe left arm come up. Send your gaze towards the left. So you can open a little bit more. Maybe sending that right arm up. Oops, and if you lose it, you lose it and come back. Oh, that was scary. Come all the way up. Hands to heart center. Good job. Come into your mat. And let's close this up. Yeah, we're in 58 minutes. Okay, so we have done some balance. We have done... Some warriors, we have done, you know, some of everything. Okay. We're going to finish today with a little bit of a plow pose and a bridge pose. So we're going to start by just coming into Adandasana. So moving a little bit of your, you know, awesomeness around and making sure that your uh, uh, seat bones are firmly rooted, extending your legs super strong, super long, and uh, making sure that the spine is long and strong. If you here already start like doing this, maybe this is a moment to uh, add something on there so you can uh, get yourself longer and stronger. Okay, look forward, don't look down. Send your shoulders away from the ears. No secret between shoulders and the ears. <laughs> Remember that. Inhaling and lifting both arms all the way up. Okay, exhaling and coming all the way down from the creases of your hips. When there's no more space to go, place your hands down. And wherever they reach is wherever they reach. So it can be the top of your thighs and it's fine. It can be your shins, it can be ankles, it can be, you know, really, really don't obsess to find your toes because that might not be the place where you are in. Lengthen a little bit more. Keep those legs engaged. Keep offering the heart forward. If you need to bend the knees, bend the knees really, really. This is not uh, 
you can do that. It's completely okay. Don't feel bad about it. Okay, inhaling, coming all the way up. Exhaling, hands to heart center. Let's come into our wonderful uh, bridge pose. Okay, so coming into our bridge pose, we're going to do just two bridge pose here to be able to pass to our uh, plow pose. So for our bridge pose, making sure that um, place, place the sole of the foot on the mat. Um, Extend your hands and make sure that you can feel the back of the heel with your hands, with the fingertips. So that's great. So you don't have to you know, grab anything. Just make sure that you can feel them. Now make sure that your feet are hip distance and all of the four corners of the foot is firmly rooted on the mat. Okay. Knees are going to start looking towards the front and try to don't clench your buttocks. So that's very much what a lot of people do. Don't feel bad. So it happens a lot, but do not clench your buttocks. Think about sending your hips, the, 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 um, yeah, the wonderful um, bones of your hips up and towards the sky. Think about elevating them and sending them towards the sky, just like skyrocket those hips, okay? Inhaling here, lifting. Check your hips, check your hips. Make sure that they are like really, really going up and towards the sky. And these are going towards the front. Keep your knees from traveling. They might want to go from the right to the left. Interlace your fingers under and start pushing those hands down. So that will help activate your shoulders. So in here, start shimming your shoulders. One and then the other and then the other and then the other. All right, until they're fully engaged. Do not clench those wonderful buttocks. Keep sending those knees towards the front. And press those hands down. Press those uh, forearms down. Breathe here. Keep the sole of the feet down. And come all the way down, letting go of the interlace of the hands first. Undo the shimming. And start coming vertebrae by vertebrae. Sacrum is the last thing to come down. Touch face. Just don't, we're there. Okay, let's do this again. Enjoy this. Okay, coming all the way up with those hips, pointing those knees towards the front, interlacing those fingers, making sure trying to keep the heels of the hands as close as you can. Shimmy the shoulders. All right. Lengthen, lengthen those hips towards the sky, towards the sky, towards the sky, towards the sky. Do not clench the, your buttocks. Keep your knees on the same direction. Breathe. Breathe one more time. Relax your face. Let go of the interlace. Let go of the shimmy and come all the way down. Now, if it's part of your practice to do a plow pose, go for it. If not, you can prepare yourself by adding a bunch of uh, blankets under your uh, under your mat, kind of like right here where your shoulders are going to be. And before you go into any plow, plow, plow pose, <laughs> just make sure that you have two things very, um, very clear. Number one, you are not supposed to move your head towards the left or towards the right once you're on the plow pose. That's a no-no. In all these poses, you do not move your head. That's a no-no. Uh, number two, when you come out of a plow pose, you do it like very, very slow, vertebrae by vertebrae. You don't like to slash back because that's also very bad. I have never done it, but um, I, that's why I'm still here. <laughs> So I would take that as a definitely a no-no. Um, if you start feeling that you are just compressing one thing towards the other, so basically your, your stomach is just compressing you, then you're not in a plow pose. And you might need to use maybe, um, you can use a chair to place your legs there. And it's an absolute uh, divine place to be on a plow pose. Uh, and we'll take you there and we'll get you there one step at a time. Um, 
So that's what I have in terms of teams. Um, if it's part of your po of your uh, you know, your repertoire, <laughs> then by all means, some people like to have a block here on the back just to make sure to have a, something to put their feet sometimes because it might help. So, you know, everybody's different and sometimes one thing works for one and one thing doesn't work for others, but you never know, okay? So you have your hands here and the only thing that... Um, what you're going to start is by sending those legs up and then just like sending it towards the back and showing here. Placing your hands out and making sure that your stomach is in and that you're pushing, pushing, pushing and lengthening. By lengthening here. If you want to place your feet down, by all means, but do not compress your chest. All right, slowly, very slowly, place your hands on the mat and start coming down. Bend your knees. Slowly, very slowly, slowly, very slowly. Yay, I'm coming all the way down. Grabbing your knees. Moving a little bit towards the left and towards the right. Start rocking yourself. And start preparing yourself for Shavasana. So rub your knees. Place your uh, feet by the borders of your mat. Do a little bit of wipes towards the left and towards the right. Start going down incrementally, taking your time. Do not place those knees all the way down at first. If you don't feel you don't, you don't have to. Go into a supine twist by sending both of the knees either towards the left and towards the right, opening your arms at shoulder height and sending your gaze to the opposite direction. Do this in both of the sides and take your time. Whenever you're ready, you're going to end it up lengthening your legs all the way down, finding your arms by your side and coming into your savasana. your cake pose, your favorite pose. <laughs> take all the time that you need here. And you're gonna take a nap here by all means. If you just, you know, put this on to take a nap, you know, by all means, that's so great. My name is Edith. I definitely love teaching yoga and I love to, I would love to have, you know, you live here because definitely that's that's my passion and I kind of there's a weird feel of me just talking and I'm seeing my my students I, it feels very weird but you know we keep on trying we're in all we're all in this together we're gonna get out all of this together so let's keep doing this namaste yogis <laughs>